So we are joined by Taha Kasli, the Head of Growth and Partnerships at Mobile Action. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, how about you? I'm, I'm doing well, actually. It's nice to be back in the real world with right? real physical people. Uh, I understand you guys have already done a talk here at uh -huh. the show, right? Yeah, my colleague Yusuf Barichu did a talk on mobile ad creatives, how mobile games and mobile app companies can create appealing ad creatives to, you know, acquire uh, great users with low CPI and also, you know, create an ad strategy that can help them to, you know, scale uh, as they, you know, increase their ad spendings as well. I'm sensing a kind of monetization platform thing going on here. What is it that you guys do for people who don't know? Yeah, Mobile Action is a user acquisition solution for mobile growth experts. What it does is that on the Mobile Action part, we do have intelligence tools like ASO Intelligence and Ad Intelligence, which can help um, mobile experts to both grow their visibility on the organic sites and also on the ad intelligence side, you know, you can get ad creative insights and ad network insights about your competitors so that you get a glimpse of, you know, how they're running ads and how they're strategizing so you can also add up some of the strategies that they're working for them. And also we do have a platform called searchads.com, which is one of the official Apple Search Ads partners. And we are a campaign management platform, Apple Search Ads, and we are helping search ad advertisers to run their ads uh, more wisely and spend their budget on the more related keywords to you know better acquire users on that front as well. Getting the data on the competitors, not just on the people on the campaigns that you're currently working on, that sounds obviously quite beneficial for the people using it. It also pushes us into that gray legal area where GDPR in recent years has got a lot more strict, privacy laws and all the rest of it. How do you as a company kind of stay ahead of the regulations and legislation and make sure that you're firmly on the right side of the law? Mm -hmm. So essentially we are not uh, you know, sourcing our data from any uh, app company or any from third party uh, data provider. Our technology does. So basically you know, uh, we developed a technology that can get the data from out of the internet that you know, uh, catches that data and gives you an insight based on that. You, know, you, you can always go to Instagram and scroll for you know, a couple of minutes and also swipe for storage and you will see some ads. But what Mobile Action does is that you don't have to do that, but the, our technology sees these ads and uh, brings it to our platform for your ease actually. Gotcha, okay, so it's kind of doing the work for you to some yeah. degree, that's handy. How has the last two years changed the way that you guys do business? I mean, it's put a lot of surprising demands on some companies, especially cloud-based companies, where everyone suddenly poured online and started using things way more than they used to. So how has it affected you? Yeah, definitely. I think with COVID, the adaptation to mobile has increased exponentially, right? And the, the way that I see is that people are, you know, spending much time at home, even if, you know, the, uh, the curfews and all the lockdowns ended, but we still do have, you know, enjoy uh, home and they, you know, we started to add up new hobbies. We started to do new things, you know. It's, I believe, for most people, it was a different period where we, you know, changed uh, some of the things in our lives. In the mobile really, uh, you know, has some of the uh, tools that we can use while we are doing changes. Like we can uh, start meditation and download meditation apps, you know. We can maybe start playing games and uh, this is something as well. And I think uh, people started to search for things and that increased the importance of the intent platforms like uh, Apple search as and Google VAC. So, you know, uh, in a sense that the advertisers, I think, should pay attention to is the intent platforms because, you know, uh, other ad networks are great as well. But whenever someone is searching for something, uh, it's always there's more conversion uh, happening there. And also, you know, they're there to you know, download some, they're in the market, let's say, to download such a solution. And if you were to do a great strategy with your keywords, you have a higher chance than your competitors to you know, become more relevant when they're in the market looking for a solution like yours. I've spoken to a few companies which do you know, similar things to what you guys do. And what I'm always interested in is about the data that you provide. A lot of customers are demanding a lot more data, more granular information about how their campaigns are working and you know which monetization strategies are paying off and which aren't. And I always feel like there's a point where you can get more data, but it's not necessarily good data. It winds up being numbers and noise. 
And the important thing is about how you analyze it, how you deal with it. How do you help the, the people who you work with actually get meaning out of the numbers? Yeah, definitely. We do have actually a 3A rule in mobile action. We do provide actionable, accessible, and affordable insights in our tool. So we are talking the uh, actionable insights part in this sense. So what we do is that, you know, there are lots of data that you can, you know, give to a mobile game developer or mobile app company. But when it comes to, you know, getting the meaning out of it, it's a, and it's another task, another profession. I believe what we do at Mobile Action, uh, the way that we structure our dashboards and the way that we show insights to our customers inside the platform is a way that they not also, they, they not just see some, you know, meaningless numbers, but we do suggest some of the things that, you know, there's a room for improvement there. And there's, uh, you can also, you know, do this to increase, increase these points. And, uh, you know, lucky for us, you know, uh, we are really lucky to work with, uh, you know, I believe the smartest uh, marketers in the world, in the mobile game and the mobile app world. And they do also, you know, do a great job analyzing this insight. So I believe, you know, there's a great fit there. What's the biggest challenge in the sector at the moment? I mean, there are, as I said, there's competition within your own sector. People are becoming, I think, more savvy to a lot of, not necessarily, not just advertising techniques, but also the way that monetization works. And like, there was a time when you could say in-app payment and some people wouldn't know what that was, but now everybody's very familiar. So what's the biggest challenge for you for like, getting games profitable and ensuring that customers not only turn up, but they stick around? Yeah. I believe, you know, the most important thing for a game developer to market their apps is to do iteration constantly. And it requires for, you know, every company is different, every team dynamic is different, but it, I believe it requires a company to develop a iteration and experiment framework, uh, a mentality inside so that, you know, they can try out new things faster, they can learn faster, and they can move forward. You know, since we are a really fast-paced uh, industry, there are lots of new things to learn every day. But if you were to you know, stay and stick one thing, uh, stick on one thing for so long, we may be you know, uh, losing up uh, some other parts. So what I would suggest is that you know, if you were to uh, build a good uh, iteration and experiment framework, we will be able to build things, and we will be able to try things really fast, and we will beat out the failures, we will just uh, forget them out, and we will be focusing on the ones that promises us that, you know, we can, if we dig uh, a little more here, something can come up, and if you focus more on that, I believe, you know, that's where the real gem is. So I would say, you know, uh, doing lots of iterations, beating out the failures, and sticking on the uh, ones that promises. Gotcha. And in terms of the upcoming year, now the world has opened back up again. You guys are obviously, we're at physical events again. You're going out and you're meeting new people. What are the aims for the company in 2022? Are there new initiatives that you're working on that you can talk about or uh -huh. is it all top secret? Yeah, definitely. We do have tons of incredible and exciting uh, features coming up on both mobile action, mobile action and search has.com sites. And I'm really, you know, excited to try them out by myself and also, you know, show to uh, our partners and we do also, you know, want to continue going to events like this because, you know, first uh, we had the chance to meet with our existing partners that we partnered in a couple uh, years, but we haven't had a chance to, you know, uh, see them in the flesh. But now, you know, we see them, we chat, and we also meet with uh, new friends. Uh, we, we make new partnerships, and it's really great. I believe we will uh, continue doing that as well. And I believe, you know, uh, in the user acquisition side, the intent platforms will be much more important uh, in the upcoming years as well. So I would suggest any mobile app company and developer to uh, give a little more attention to that side as well.